Hey Virgo, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for July 2022. For my Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus placements. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. My Virgos, um, if you want a personal tarot reading, I do offer them. Video recorded as well as through Etsy message. Quick turnaround for the Etsy message readings, two to four days, okay? All right, so Virgo, let's take a look. Your bonus extended reading for July. What is this person not communicating is up on Vimeo. And this could be a love connection, business partnership, family friendship, okay? Take it how it resonates. All right, so the biggest challenge for you guys, what is the challenge you're facing? Seven of Wands in a verse. So there could be an energy here where you're having to like stand your ground on something in your life, Virgo, okay? Maybe you haven't really been speaking up for yourself, right? The Seven of Wands in a verse could be maybe your guards were down. Maybe someone took advantage of you when your guards were down, right? And so there could be an energy where you're having to really stand in your power, right know your worth know what you bring to the table and push for that so this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with in the past we have this ace of wands queen of pentacles and the queen of cups it definitely feels like maybe there was um either a same-sex relationship or just two people involved so you could have been in a third party situation it also could just be, you know, someone that you're dealing with, right? It could be like a, just another feminine energy around you. In the past, it definitely feels like something was surely going to move forward. Ace of Wands, it was a fiery connection, something here that was very energetic. Um, it feels like you both desired each other. There was a lot of attraction, physical attraction perhaps as well, very strong. So a lot of great chemistry. Something was surely going to move forward. It feels like it was um, someone was bringing a lot of love to the table. The other person had a lot of, uh, brought a lot of security and stability and support. So give me the energy right now. The current energy is that you and this person are not communicating. So Knight of Swords and Verses could be an argument or a fight perhaps you had with this person this also could just be the energy of someone not being honest and upfront or transparent right they may be avoiding some kind of dialogue with you now the energy of the five of cups and the queen of wands came out in the verse so definitely could be some kind of regret someone is having maybe there's they feel guilt which is why they're not talking or speaking with you there's a lot of past energy here some past Regrets, remorse, disappointment, wishing I had done things differently, wishing I had, you know, behaved a different way, okay? Ace, uh, Queen of Wands in verse, it feels like someone here may have done something here where they, they're not proud of, or even they didn't do something, then they're not proud of it, okay? So definitely is some broken communication because of that. Could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. In your energy, we have the Emperor. So you could be in this em Emperor energy where you're taking back control. You're moving forward. Kind of like how I was saying with the Seven of Wands, right? The Emperor is someone who is uh, willing to step up to the plate. They make good, sound, solid decisions. They're pretty respected by others as well. And with the Hermit here in a verse, that's your energy. Virgo, you may have been doing a lot of deep, deep inner work, spiritual work, right? This could be going within introspection. This could be taking the time to heal, to reflect. And it feels like with the Hermit in a verse, there's something that you're getting. There's some kind of insight, hidden knowledge, clarity that you're getting. And it may be allowing you to stand in that emperor-like energy and being very confident and knowing who you are. So give me the energy of what's in the foundation for my Virgos. The strength card, Leo energy the world, the three of swords, and how this person wants to move forward with you is the nine of wands in the verse. So Virgo, there definitely is something that's very challenging for this connection, but also your person. The strength, it feels like your person is, it's like they want to do something, but they can feel like they're not strong enough, they're weak, they're, maybe they don't have enough courage. And with the world card, it definitely feels like there's a cycle here. Right, this could be someone that you've had um, a long-standing history with, you know, a cycle, the world. Right, it's faded, it's divine in some way. But the Three of Swords is here, so it does feel like there's been a breakup, 
a separation. It feels like maybe this person has cut ties with something from their life. Um, and this could be with you. This could be with another connection. Now, the Knight of Wands in the verse, it feels like this person really wants to take action. But it feels like they're missing something. And that could be why the Strength card is here. There could be something here that they're having to finish up as well with the world. And they're still hurting. And therefore, they can't take the action that they want. Right? They are um, going through some kind of ending or they're healing. They're having to heal before they take action and move forward, right? So the strength card, it could be, again, a challenging time where they feel weak. They feel um, unable. They feel powerless. It could be a Leo here. Coming into the near future, we have the Page of Swords in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of you Virgos, you're finding that you're going to be very selective and cautious as to who you give your time to. Seven of Pentacles is really thinking about your investments, right? Where is this going to go? Where is this going to lead to? Is it worthwhile? Is it worth putting my time, energy, effort into this thing or situation? And so there's definitely a lot of, I'm getting selections, right? But, you know, you're wanting to make the best selection and you're being very cautious about it again. So the Page of Swords in verse, there could be someone here you're not sure about. Maybe you're not communicating with. Um, there could be a lack of clarity, lack of truth as to if there are someone that can contribute back, right? Are they willing to give you their fair share? Six of Pentacles, maybe there were already issues here with regard to how this person reciprocates, how they show up. And so there could be a lot of unknowns. And so that could be something you're avoiding or really, really paying close attention to with the Seven of Pentacles. So let's jump right in. Let's see what other messages we have. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, Virgo. All right, let's start off with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Cups. So the challenge is to see past the confusion, right? The illusions. Maybe you're dealing with someone that had multiple options, other people, romantic interests, and it brought a lot of confusion to the table. You didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know what they wanted. And so that's why the Seven of Wands is there. You're having to really stand your ground, okay? You have to be very certain about what you want and set expectations or even boundaries for other people to follow, right? To get what you want at the end of the day. So give me the energy of the past. Ace of Wands, we got two queens here. The Sun in the verse, the Ten of Wands, and the Fool. So it definitely feels like there was a lack, again, a lack of clarity. Something here was not, someone was not being honest. That's what it looks like to me. Someone wasn't being honest. It feels like they created a lot of uh, challenges in the connection. It feels like they made something a lot more complicated and difficult than it needed to be uh, with the Ten of Wands, right? And so it could have been very burdensome to deal with this person, the situation. It feels like there was a new beginning on the horizon. Someone just had to go for it. Someone had to take that leap of faith. But someone felt, I'm getting... I'm getting even burdened by their past. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, that's your energy. But Virgo, you know, this could be an energy where they felt obligated to do something here, okay, in some way. It could have been a codependence of some sort. We have the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there could be someone else in the picture. So for some of you, Virgo, maybe you found out there was someone else in the picture that uh, you didn't know about, the sun in the verse. And that may have certainly created some kind of obstacles or challenges, Ten of Wands, with regard to this moving forward with the Ace of Wands. So even though this person wanted this connection, it feels like, you know, there was a beautiful opportunity here. It feels like something here may have not been able to move forward um, because of someone's dealings with someone else, but also the burdens they created here, okay, in their own life. So let's jump right in. Let's see what the energy is right now. Uh, you're dealing with someone that's not really communicating yeah, the King of Swords in verse. This person's definitely a little bit cold, a little bit detached. They're not really speaking their truth. They may be uh, literally avoiding you, avoiding from speaking something. Now, they are quite emotional. The Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. But it feels like you're dealing with someone that's just like a go, 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 right? They don't stop to think. They don't stop to wonder. They don't stop to like, you know, uh, reminisce and get into their feelings. You have someone who has been avoiding dealing with their feelings for you after some kind of ending, tragedy, ten of swords, betrayal. And it feels like they're actually bothered by this ending more than you may think because the three of swords is definitely in their energy. So even though this person may may seem like they're moving on fairly quickly, they picked up the pieces, they're unaffected by some kind of breakup, they very much are affected. 
because that Knight of Wands, you know, yeah, they can go, 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 but the Ten of Swords is right there behind them, right? So they're leaving, they're moving beyond or past, trying to move past a really difficult ending. They're not talking about it, but they're hurting. Three of Swords, right? So let's see what the energy is for you, the Emperor. The, uh, the Queen of Wands in a verse, so Fire Sign and the Five of Wands. Some of you guys, you decided to take back control. You may have decided to leave a situation where there was a third party with the Queen of Wands. Definitely feeling a third party because we do have three queens here, right? So the Five of Wands is definitely a speaking about competition. So you may have felt like you had to compete for this person with a Queen of Wands. You may have felt like there's no comparison, right? You know, why do I have to compete? Why does Virgo have to compete with this Queen of Wands? So... Definitely was competition here, and that's not something you wanted. And so the emperor is taking back control, taking back your power. Some of you guys, you may have decided to disconnect the hermit and spend a lot of time with yourself. And you may have gotten a lot of truth, eight of swords, clarity about what you wanted. Uh, being honest with yourself, seeing through something, right? Some of you guys, you were perhaps blinded to the fact of someone here who created illusions, seven of cups. And so the ace of swords is cutting that out getting down to the bone right ace of swords getting clarity seeing truth seeing someone for who they truly are so give me the strength in the world definitely some challenges i'm definitely seeing a cycle the Hierophant universe and eight of pentacles it feels like your person's being challenged to change their ways especially with regard to how they deal with commitments so you could be dealing with someone that had a commitment foe i'm getting like they were non-committal and it feels like they they shied away from it, right? The strength. Maybe they felt like they were never good enough for a commitment or they couldn't be that committed person. They weren't good enough, right? Or they wouldn't, they would fail that commitment. And it feels like there's something here they're having to work on. And this could be something on a spiritual level, on a soul level, they're having to work on and address with the world. Now, the Three of Swords is here. Ten of Cups in a verse. So I told you this person is definitely affected by a breakup, a separation. This could be a separation again with you or a third party. They're not happy. They're very unhappy. They're quite miserable in their life. They're maybe even going through some kind of dark depression. There's a lot of um, unfulfillment here. And in Ten of Cups, maybe they lost out on seeing their family or having a family that they want. Now, with regard to how they want to move towards you, they may not be taking action just yet. There could be some unfinished business regarding a third party, and it feels like they're not talking about it. I also feel like if there is some unfinished business regarding a third party situation, they may be knowing that I have to fix this first before I can have this reunion, three cups with Virgo. So there could be some unfinished business, something here they're having to address and take care of fully before they come in and take the next steps towards you, right? And speak um, speak about it or even tell you the truth about it. So it feels like they want to talk. Um, they may have something to say regarding uh, a past situation but they feel like right now isn't the time let me take care of this first so definitely a lot that has been left unsaid page of swords and verse i do think this person is still watching you i think a part of it could be that they know they can't offer this love that you want the knight of cups came out in the verse so there definitely is an idea of like you know i care about virgo i, I want to offer virgo my love but i'm going to hold back and so the knight of cups the page of swords and verse person's holding back until they're actually ready to bring and offer that cup. It also is a situation where maybe things weren't really reciprocated. And six of pentacles in verse, four of pentacles in verse, you know, there could be some guards that have to drop as well. Especially if your person has gone through some kind of trauma in the past. They could be extremely guarded toward opening up to people, um, investing, right? You know, I'm getting something about you know them not being able to give you their all because of their past being so guarded being so closed off not trusting people and so there could be energy of them dropping their guard slowly which could also um, allow them to love you better right with the knight of cups so the seven of pentacles there could be something here you're really having to decide on two pentacles if this is worth holding on to i do feel like it's your person that may come with a lot of baggage that you know, it feels like they're having to offload, right? And it may take time. Um, certainly healing can be underway as well with the Three of Swords in their energy. So with the Two of Pentacles, you may be really deciding um, if this is something worth holding on to, right? The Seven of Pentacles, is this worth investing in? Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you may decide to be single. You may decide to not focus and fixate on this person and live your life and take matters into your own hands. Move forward with the Emperor energy. So Virgo, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are aware when I drop these readings for you. And um, I'll check you guys out soon. Take care. Bye.